Hello everybody, this is Gregory with Permanent Weight Loss Made Easy, where there should be no hesitance in your weight loss and in your weight maintenance. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about how no one really wants you to succeed. In particular, what I mean by no one is maybe not just family, but certainly the industry. Now, before I begin, if you need help with weight loss, contact me through the Clarity FM link found here in the episode notes. Also, check out my books on Amazon, my website, which has hundreds of articles and recipes, my podcast, The Awakened Man, and The Cinema Rag, both of which you can find on Apple and Spotify. And lastly, if you appreciate my content, please subscribe and share if you haven't done so already, and hit the notification bell because it helps bring these episodes to you. So look, I've lost over 100 pounds and kept it off for 30 plus years, and I've been in the industry, so to speak, for quite some time. And what do I mean by the industry? The industry is gonna be weight loss companies like Jenny Craig, Weight Watchers, uh, this is also gonna include gyms, this is gonna include a wide variety of social media and YouTube influencers pushing this diet and that diet and, and so forth. And let me tell you, look, there is a parasitical industry that's developed around obesity. We know that we are the most obese we've ever been in human history. We've seen obesity skyrocket the last, really you would say since the early 80s when, when I got really fat. And to the point where it's, it's close to 75% of Americans are overweight and 40% are obese. Overweight means 20% above your BMI. So you could argue that's gonna be like five to 20 pounds overweight and then obesity is gonna be more than that. So this is a major problem. And I've talked about in other episodes, look, we've had gym memberships explode. We have all these resources at our disposal, like Weight Watchers, Jenny Craig's, all these, these fad diets, all these meal plans, all these resources, and we're just getting fatter. And I would tell you, and some would say that this is a cynical view, but they don't want you to succeed. It's the same reason, and this is again, a very cynical view too, Big Pharma doesn't want you to get healthy because if you got healthy, you wouldn't be taking their drugs and therefore you're not gonna make them profitable and lucrative. You could say the thing about hospitals. Do hospitals really want you to get healthy? They don't want you to get those chronic diseases that bring you in and eventually you're gonna need intervention, whether it be a stent put in or you're in the ICU for something. Linus Pauling was a great American scientist. He's the only person to ever win the, the, the Nobel Prize twice. And back in the 50s, he was doing a lot of studies on vitamin C. And he demonstrated that vitamin C, when taken in high doses, can eradicate cancer and can eradicate the large majority of cardiovascular diseases. He brings this to the American Medical Association and they essentially call him a quack and laugh him off the screen. Now, some of you might think that's quackery because you've never heard this, but they laughed him off the stage because there's money to be made. And if everybody's healthy, there's not money to be made. And you can apply that to the parasitical industry that is weight loss. If everybody was regular weighted, like we were through all of uh, elites, you know, American history, there'd be nobody going to gyms. Yeah, I mean, of course, there's people that love the runners high and these things, and you would still go work out. But the majority of people who work out are either overweight and they want to get in shape, or they're just young dudes that go to Gold's Gym and want to you know, get strong. But if everybody was healthy, gym memberships would drop. Weight Watchers, Jenny Craig would all go away. The same way that you see David's Bridal, David's Formal, and, and all these bridal companies that were really dependent on weddings, how they have gone away because the, the cohabitation rate has gone up and the marriage rates have gone down. So they were a parasitical industry and now they're gone. You see it with bookstores, right? That the, the scenery changed, we have Amazon, they went away too. You saw during COVID how a lot of the kind of lunch stations that used to be around office parks all went away because people weren't going into work and picking up lunch at the food court in their office building. So they went away and it's the same thing here. So why do you think Gold's Gym and all these places want you to succeed if it would mean the demise of their own business? I did an episode here at The Awakened Man, probably in 2018 about Weight Watchers, how there was a white paper or a leaked memo from Weight Watchers. And they talked about their business model and how their business model is perfect. Because when people go to Weight Watchers and they lose the weight, 
they attribute it to Weight Watchers. But then when they regain the weight, and you remember 80% of people who lose more than 50 pounds regain it. When they regain the weight, they don't blame Weight Watchers, they blame themselves. So what a perfect business model because then after a few months of self-loathing, they're like, I need to lose the weight, I'm gonna go back to Weight Watchers. They never blame Weight Watchers. What a perfect business model. And the same thing you can say about the gyms, they never blame the gyms. So think about it, guys. These companies don't want you to succeed. They'll say they do, right? Because that's what brings you in to get the gym membership or whatever, fad diet, and all these other parasitical industries out there. They don't want you to succeed because then they would, they would no longer exist. Just like the American Heart Institute, the American Diabetes Association, they really want the, don't want these things eradicated because it'd be the demise of their nonprofit where all that money that you're donating goes to their middle management and goes to the execs and a small amount of it actually goes to whatever their cause is. Susan G. Komen is another one. All these are just parasitical industries and in the weight loss world, it's no different and you need to have your eyes wide open. Now, when it comes to personal, do people in your personal life want you to lose the weight? We have an episode on that. In Newsflash, a lot of those people don't want you to lose the weight either because if they're overweight, you're making them have to look in the mirror about their choices. And they'd rather you be fat, even though they say they love you, than for you to lose the weight. Because if you lose the weight, they'll say the right things. Like, oh, I think it's great, but deep down they want you to regain the weight because you're making them feel bad. Guys, post in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. If you're agree or disagree, please, please subscribe, share, and hit the notification button. Until next time, take care. God bless and break.